Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my best bits of 2014. Yes, as usual, my name's Mike, and instead of Crucible Chat this week, well, there's a bit of Crucible play now, um, I've got a, to- a top 10 rundown of my favourite bits from my channel this year. Uh, some that you might not expect, some that you might think, well, why has he picked that? But trust me, there are reasons for why I like them. Um, so there are nine bits from my channel, and there is one shout out that I've had this year that I've included in this. And I just wanted to say this has been a really, really good year for me. Um, you can see from the early videos in the year how much I've grown, like in terms of production values and my ability to commentate. And yeah, I just want to celebrate everything I've done this year. So first up, number ten, we have the Last of Us Left Behind. Now, this little particular section was just something that I found so funny at the time, and I loved it as I'm watching it back and watching it a few times. Bit quite late on in the DLC, where you're playing as Ellie, and you come across an area where there are a bunch of clickers and a bunch of soldiers, and for the first time, you can actually set them on each other, and it just amused me so much. And it was just something. It was just this perfect little bit of the game for me that I enjoyed. Um, I enjoyed. I mean, I enjoyed the full game and this DLC immensely. Anyway. But, yeah, it's just something that I I thought, I like that, that's good. Anyway, check out the clip. Which way? That way would seem the best option. Anyone checking here? Let's um even the odds. <laughs> I like this. Pit the humans against the infected. Something you didn't really get to do. I don't think you did it at all in the first game. In the actual main game. So next up at number 9 we have uh, one of my Hearthstone videos. Now I played a bit of Hearthstone, I think about April time, uh, and I was enjoying it. I did about 6 or 7 videos on it and the first 4 of them I lost tragically. So this is my reaction to the first time I won something. I pretty much go into soul winner mode. Well played. Sorry buddy. I won! Ha <laughs> ha! I finally won a match that I recorded! Ha <laughs> ha I'm a one-star angry chicken! Yes! Sorry Gaffel, but screw you! Ha <laughs> ha! Finally won! Oh, it's only taken me four attempts to do it! Ha! Oh... I need to win two more times to get ten gold. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm in such a good mood now. Oh, well... At number 8 we have uh, the greatest easter egg ever in Wolfenstein The New Order where you get to actually go back and play as part of a nightmare that the, uh, BJ Blazkowicz has you get to go back and play the original Wolfenstein game it's just fucking tremendous, I loved it We only do this once in the game and I didn't cover it last time I thought I missed it for good Ha 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 Look at this, in Castle Wolfenstein Even down to the music. And the sprites, this is just. This <laughs> is fucking insane. This is the return to Castle Wolfenstein. Oh, the bones. Oh, I love this. Fire! 
At number seven, we're going to Sevastopol and to Alien Isolation and one of the most random deaths that occurred throughout that whole game. There's so many deaths in it in any way. But this one where I'm seeking around, I'm trying to find my way, and the alien drops down literally right next to me. I spent ages on this level. It's one of the hospital levels, and I just I still chuckle at this to myself. I hope you do I hope you find this as funny as I do. Fucking run! Ah, shit! Fuck! Oh, you bastard! Yes, I know sprinting me. Move slowly. How do I move slowly if it appears right in front of me? And from one game about running to another, at number six we have Outlast Whistleblower. And this incredible moment when you first step outside into the mist-covered gardens and just something runs up and hits you and I completely freak out at it and it's fucking hilarious. So yeah, it's just, this is how you deal with being alone in the dark around an insane asylum full of things that are trying to kill you. You scream a lot. Anyway, enjoy. Outside and night vision won't work. For all the fans of Silent Hill out there, I hate you all. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? And more precisely, where did it go? Unless someone's throwing rocks at me. At number five, we have me raging over FIFA 15. Yes, this is why I should not play football games. I get incredibly angry here, and in this little clip, I can see two goals very quickly. And yeah, basically, Emma's in the background telling me off, and I'm losing my shit in general. Enjoy! How the hell do I keep ending up offside? I'm not even controlling the player I'm passing to! Regimented at the back. Get, get him! Get him! Get him! Get him. No! Right, yeah, that one there. Yes. Why bother kicking it to nobody? Oh, get it! Why did he change to that one? Brilliant football from this team. Well, certainly not from this team. Get, get it! Which player? I'm, there I am. No, I've changed. I've changed twice. I have no idea who I am. Probably an existential identity crisis in the fucking box. No! Ah! God damn it! God fucking damn it. What? No! Stop sliding in the middle of the pitch. Slide in front of the ball. Get, get him! No! No! Four nil down. Did Jack or you're dead to me? Oh, that sport man city is over. Oh, fucking hell, I'm really losing here. Four separate players have scored four separate goals. <laughs> now, the next part wasn't actually a thing I did, it was a shout out towards me, as I said before, including one shout out here, which is the best one I've ever had. I've had quite a few this year, but this one was just fucking brilliant. Um, it's from B&G Games and Video. Uh, Nick, who is B, has been following me for a little while, and he was enjoying my Walking Dead series. And they decided to shout me, give me an Emma a shout out on their channel, and it is possibly the funniest shout out I've ever had. It was utterly hilarious, and I I love Nick and G forever for this one. So yeah, just sit back and enjoy this one, laugh your ass off. Welcome back to Walking Dead Wednesday, Freudian Slip Edition. Uh, Freudian Slip Edition, 
And we're going to give a big special shout out to the Gadget Addicts. They are currently doing a Walking Dead uh, marathon on their channel right now. He is awesome. He Wait. and his wife, Emma. Big shout out Wait to me. you. Wait a minute. They're, they're addicts? They're ad addicts to gadgets, yes. Is there like a 12-step program they could go to? That would be interesting. A 12-step gadget addict program? I am powerless over ad gadgets. gadgets. Yes. My gadget life has become unmanageable. <laughs> yes. You have to make gadget amends. Gadget addicts, you are awesome. Emma, hey, how are you doing? And I'm enjoying Get some watching help. your series. Just for crying out loud, let me just finish the shout out. It's a you? serious issue. Oh, for the love of. Okay, all right. So, when we last left off, we were still on episode four. Get some gadget method on. Around every corner. Gadget done. At number three, we are going to Yarnum in Bloodborne. Now, if you remember, I was in the Alpha for Bloodborne in October, and I made it my made it my job in life, my quest in life, to defeat this big guy that I'm fighting here. And in this clip, I got so close to it, I, I almost had him down, and he, I got greedy with the hits, and he got me at the very end. And it's the it's the, the reason I love this. It's just the wail of pain in my voice. It's just the no that I put out at the top of my voice. It's just. Oh, I loved it. I hated this at the time, but I absolutely love it when I watch it back now. Come on. Ooh. Fuck. The problem is, it's the strafing mechanic, because I end up going place I want to go. A uh, place I don't want to go, though. Oh shit, he caught me again. No, oh, fuck, that was a real waste of a blood vial. Hit him back, hit him back, hit him back, hit him back. And uh, and no blood vials, no bullets. Right. Come on. Ooh. If you keep going. Yes, yes, I know. His defense is so high, it's unreal! So at number two, we are going to the my Dark Souls boss fight videos and the old Dragon Slayer boss fight. Now I love this for a number of reasons. One, because this is the first time I was comfortable with the kind of the put on um, commentary voice that I was doing for the boss fights, trying to make them a little bit like a sporting event. But also the fact that this boss fight, I actually really wasn't, I genuinely wasn't expecting it when I came into the area in the game. I thought I was doing. You know, I was doing well, I was just going to go to a new area, and all of a sudden there's a fucking boss fight that I wasn't prepared for. And I won it first time, and it's that move that I get at the end, I just nail it. No health potions left, like 10% health, and I just get him with the last hit. It was either going to be me or the old Dragon Slayer, and I loved it. And I hope you love it too. And the dark magic comes out again, but Sir Blitz is out of there. Alright, coming at the final seconds of this fight, folks. Dragon Slayer goes to the side, takes another bit of damage. And watch this. Oh, expertly timed roll. That is brilliant. And the Dragon Slayer is down. It is vengeance to Sir Blitz. That's a flawless victory. 1 0 to Sir Blitz. Well, you couldn't ask for more exciting than that, could you, folks? No, you could not.
What an and taking the number one spot and being my favourite moment on my channel this year, it had to be, of course it is, it's PT. That jump scare in the very first episode, it's been one of my best viewed videos of the year, and oh my god, it was just the worst experience to live through. Um, so that's it, so that's my top 10 moments of the year, in my opinion, on my channel. Um, please, if you enjoyed this, do leave a like and subscribe. Um, and by all means, please tell me what you liked on my channel. If there's anything that I've done this year that I haven't covered in this list that you really enjoyed, let me know and I'll make another video like this and I'll, I'll do like kind of viewers' responses. Um, but 2014's been a great year for me. I've grown so well. Thank you to everyone who has watched any of my videos, who has liked, who has subscribed. Hell, even those who s subscribed and left, you know, you all added to the added to the value that I've had. But I am going to come off here. I'm going to leave you to watch, watch me just prance around and die from this, this horrible jump scare. And I will see you in 2015. For now, good night. I'll talk about the killings. Don't touch that dial, we're just getting started. Oh god, what's gonna happen now? Jesus fuck! Jesus Christ! Fucking hell! Oh man! Oh shit! Fuck! <laughs> oh what the fuck! <laughs> oh Konami you bastards! You absolute bastards! Oh fuck I've just shit myself! Not literally but fucking hell. Oh my god.